All right, guys, pop quiz. What is fixed wing mode? Because I don't really know. It's a new feature on the Mavic now that we have a new firmware update. I watched some videos, but it's not really that clear as to how it is and what the benefit is of it, so I, I don't really know. Now, with a quadcopter or something like that, that's kind of an odd setting to have. I have a feeling that it's a mode that kind of makes the drone go forward at a set speed and it doesn't hover like a normal um, quadcopter would and then you control the drone um, and its direction that it's flying uh, as normal but it just never stops, it never hovers. It keeps moving forward like an RC plane. Now this is one of my favorite parks to fly. It's the Wicker Rassy Park in Pinehurst. And it's very open except for that one tree right there, but hopefully that won't be an issue and we'll be able to fly this fixed wing mode with the Mavic Pro without regretting it. So here we go. Okay, so we're in our uh, Go app here. I'm gonna go to menu. I'm gonna go to controller settings. And here we go, set to fixed wing mode. So we turn this on and it says, press C1 to trigger fixed wing mode during flight. So apparently we can use C1 to activate the mode and then C2 to exit the mode, which is going to be helpful because with this type of thing, and especially a drone, you know, making it act like a fixed wing aircraft, um, you really want to be able to exit out of that mode pretty quickly. So let's see how this works. I really have no idea. I would also like to mention that they changed the names of the color profiles again. So I have no idea what my old Agate B or, you know, whatever is now. Fixed wing mode. Okay, fixed wing mode's on and multiple flight modes are enabled. So now, let's try this out. C1. Why is it not doing anything? Button customization says enter fixed wing mode, yes. Am I missing something? Fixed wing mode, what the hell, man? Two very boring minutes later. Oh, so I had to already be going a certain speed. Whoa. Okay, so you actually have to set fixed wing mode while you're going forward. Holy crap. <laughs> Talk about slanted horizon. Yeah, this is more for uh, manual piloting fun as opposed to actually getting a good shot out of it. The turning takes a really long time. Like, the radius, the turning radius is really, really wide on this. I'm surprised the gimbal doesn't actually tilt down, but in this mode, it's just fixed straight in the center, facing forward. So can I go faster? I'm going 16 miles an hour right now. Yes, I, I, I can pick up speed. Letting off the throttle reduces me back to about 16, 15 miles an hour. So let me go down a little bit. Oh! What? So with the left thumbstick, that's controlling the left and right movement. So I'm banking left and right when I use my left yaw and my right yaw. What would normally ascend and descend the drone is doing that, but it's also tilting the drone forward. So if you want to get a shot of something toward the ground, you actually have to descend and the drone then tilts downward. That's that's gonna get that's gonna take some getting used to. All right, I'm gonna bring it down, and we'll uh, we'll assess what just happened. <laughs> In order to actually enter fixed wing mode, we had to be flying forward at like 15 to 20 miles an hour already. Um, it would not enter fixed wing mode when it's just hovering. And then once you're in it, the camera faces f directly forward, directly level with the drone. And so if you want to pan up and down, you actually have to tilt the drone up and down, which is in effect changing its um, ascent or descent. This mode is definitely more for fun. Uh, it's not a mode that you're probably going to get much um, you know, practical use out of if you're a, a person who wants to get actual video you know, clips and stuff. But if you want to just fly a drone and get a taste of how it feels to fly an actual RC airplane or fixed wing aircraft, then I guess you could try this out. It's pretty cool. It's really mimicking aerodynamics of a fixed wing aircraft in that it's really turning slow. This thing could turn a lot quicker, but I guess it's because it's trying to be accurate in how it feels. So upping the yaw speed on my expo settings really didn't seem to do anything. All right, we're at 200 feet. Let's go into sport mode because it says we can. So let's do it. 
Okay, we're in sport mode. It, it has not, it has picked up a little bit of speed, but not much. Oh, it's turning fast now. Nice. Okay, so in sport mode, uh, it has not gotten faster. I, I can push it faster. It seems to only go to about 23, 24 miles an hour, even when I'm pushing forward on the right thumbstick. So you can make it go faster manually, but in sport mode, it's just not picking up that much speed. I'm not getting above 23 miles an hour. Uh, the, the turning radius is about five times narrower. Pressing left and right on either thumbstick does the same thing. It turns the drone by banking. Pressing back on the right thumbstick, which would normally make it go backward, the drone, seems to have taken us out of the mode. So it, it needs to maintain a certain speed to stay in fixed wing mode. So we go back to our speed and go to C1. Okay, we're back in, in uh, fixed wing mode. Now, since we're still in sport mode, I'm going to um, throttle down. Let's just see what's happening there. And then we're throttling up. Okay, so same as always. So, oh, it just took me out of it. I wonder if it w that must have been some sort of safety mechanism, thinking I was about to crash into the ground or something. It totally just took me out of the mode. So now I'm back to hovering. Okay, so we're in normal flight mode. We're not in sport mode. We're gonna press our right joystick forward to get some speed going, then press C1, and we have entered into fixed wing mode. Now we can control the drone by either moving left and right on the left or the right thumbstick. Ascending and descending is our left thumb up and down. Faster and slower would be our right thumbstick up and down. And just in case you forget, it does remind you how to get out of it. C2. All right guys, that's fixed wing mode. I suggest checking it out at least once just to see what it's all about. I'm gonna stay tuned for some other uh, great Navic Pro videos coming up in the future. Thanks so much for watching. As always, subscribe if you like to see more material like this. Also check out edricker.com for all the drone equipment that I use regularly to make these videos. Thanks so much for watching guys and happy flying.